Hello everyone, welcome back to Neutralix. I'm your host Coslix, and today we're doing an orb guide. So today, in this video, we're going to be talking about orbs neutral attacks, just which attacks to use and when. Then we're going to be going over combos, the essential combos you need to know. And if you're like a platinum player, diamond player, looking for a little bit more, I'm going to show you the most optimal way to punish a dodge on orb that Radish and other top orb players do constantly. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos on how to get better at Brawlhalla. Let's get right into this. So like all my combo videos, we're going to talk about just how to set up the bot in training really quick. I like to kick them to the center of the map, but what you should be doing is switch it to control mode bot, go to the center of the map, go damage reset on, position reset on, then go back to the top, go back to player mode. Now, one more thing, let's go player settings. Let's go show damage on, show stun on, show hitboxes on, show hurtboxes on, I am spawning off. This way, we can just kind of hit him and he will reset. Now, let's give weapon orb. Make sure you pick an orb character. That kind of make you, you kind of got to pick an orb character. <laughs> and let's get right into this. So let's talk about the grounded options. This is your anti-stacked option. It can lead into combos like end light, side light is like kind of tight. It doesn't lead into any reliable true combos. Then you got down light, which is a combo starter and a string follow up. So like something like... We'll talk about the combos a bit later, but um, yeah, that's like a combo. But uh, this is just a really good anti-air, both combo starter, follow-up tool. If you're trying to punish in the air very quick, you got dash down. Like just a really solid option that's very quick, pretty hard to punish. You don't even land on the ground on whiff, so it is hard to punish for like a sword down light or a land side light. Um, and then we got the actual combo starter, side light. This is a very low swinging attack. So grab the cancel side lights are very useful. And you'll see people do these quite often. Ignore the misinput there. <laughs> um, that doesn't hit there, but just a little bit lower. Wee! There we go. I actually messed that true combo up. But yeah, now let's talk about the aerials. This is your anti-air. Um, it's a string starter. So you can like narrow stare pretty tight down to two frames there. Um, you could even like... Nair recovery like there's a lot of tight strings with Nair but nothing true really. Um, side air is a kind of an anti-stacked option. This is more of your kill option. It's very horizontal. You can follow up on like low health so you can go like Sair into end light. We'll talk about combos a bit later but uh, yeah this is your kill option that just sends forward and as you can see here if the bot is let's say your opponent is at like 160, 170, um, probably a bit earlier if you hit a side light, it doesn't kill raw there, but if you go like, you see what I mean? It doesn't kill exactly, but it's like a when in doubt, you need a kill, like it will, it will give you a kill. And that's just side lights there, same input on lance basically. Um, uh, so yes, that's that option. Now dare is your diagonal option. This is a great move that you can kind of follow up with like side air, kind of like that. But this is more of like a diagonal punish, a way to win neutral. You can kind of move backwards while daring a little bit. Um, it's kind of like a bait, if that makes sense. You could even like off stage be like going for these down airs. You can like dare, hold backwards, dare, hold forwards if you really want. You're just kind of chucking a projectile. Um, it's a good way to land as well. And you can like kind of follow up with strings outside of that and whatnot. It's kind of an opening tool. It's just a good punish. Nothing really confirmed outside of dare. But uh, yeah, it's just a good diagonal punish option. Then you got ground pound. This is your spiking tool. You can also delay your velocity with it. You kind of stop for a second. So if you're trying to like wait for a dodge to come back, then that's something you can do. Kind of more advanced. But anyways, um, yeah, ground pound. It's just a, you know, a spiking tool. Uh, pretty solid, but also kind of slow when you charge it. So be careful with the move. And then you got recovery. And recovery is a very special recovery. You can steer it. This is holding forward. This is holding backwards. You can see backwards and forwards it's two different recoveries you move um it makes it a really good recovery um you can also follow up things with it it doesn't like continue to hit very well but recovery is just a really good kill option as well um it's not going to kill that early obviously they're at zero but let's say they're at like a 160 or whatever and you're trying to uh, let's not jump there you see it can kill so it's a good kill option another diagonal option orb is a very diagonal weapon you got down light diagonal nair diagonal dare diagonal um recovery diagonal uh etc and then there are some stacked close options but there aren't like horizontal far away options or combos from stacked it's a very diagonal weapon so just be ready for that okay now we kind of went over all of those moves let's go over the combos so the most basic combo if you are in white 
to let's say red health and you just want to build up damage this is your go-to side light down light easiest combo one of the easiest combos in the game i'm going to turn on my controller so i can show you the combos but this is a very easy input okay you can see my controller now side light down light it's that simple side light and then the down light and here's why the combo is so good let's say your opponent doesn't have a dodge there sir and you can kind of keep going they're not true but you just keep going and it's pretty tight Let's say your opponent just doesn't dodge. Uh, you go side light, D light, nair, ser. You can like dare, ser. Um, so like, let, let me do that again. So it's like, boom, 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 boom. Chase launch, dare. Oh, I missed it. But you get what I'm saying. Like, you can kind of keep going. But I wouldn't do anything past that four. It's one, two, three, four. Orb is not a huge string heavy weapon. You hit the nice combo, you do your thing, and then you reset neutral. Orb is very good in neutral, not insane at advantage state. There are some zero to deaths that I'm not actually going to recommend in this video. You might want to watch another video for that. I'm going to teach you the basic combos, fundamentally what you need to know. Um, so that is one of the go-to combos for building up damage. The next one, D-Light Nair. D-Light is another combo starter. So if they're on the ground and you just want like an opening, you can like D-Light Nair if it's like a free punish. And then you can kind of, again, D-Light Nair, Sarah. It's the same as the side light D-Light. Um, you might be thinking to yourself, why should you D-Light when you got side light? Um, maybe they're slightly in the air, but then you're not going to be able to get those true combo follow-ups as easily. You have to hit that bottom part of the downlight. But let's say you want to lead into a better kill option. Check, take a look at this little combo. You see that? Downlight Sare. It works later in health, as you can see there. It's not super reliable. Like now it's at 50. It's definitely a much later in health combo. And it can drop, so you kind of got to be ready for that. But if you just happen to hit the D-Light there, that is a combo. I wouldn't rely on hitting D-Light in that specific spot. So when your opponent is in red, the better combo, Side Light, Side Air on Orb. This is just a go-to kill option. Um, as you can see, it doesn't kill that early, but gives you tons of advantage state where then you can hit these dares, you can ground pound, you can edge guard. If you're on Petra, you got down sig. Um, that's kind of how Radish plays Orb. Side Light Sarah is a go-to. There are some other options, like I believe you can D-Light Recovery pretty like tight. You might even be able to get this true. It really depends on being frame perfect, but I don't see Orb players go for this very often. It's the Side Light Sarah that you're going to need to know. Also, speaking of that, um, uh, if you want an amazing punish, like let's say you're like dash jumping, you're like, oh, oh, and Side Light is hard to space. GC Side Light. Oh, I, I clipped the ground there, but like just like that. It's another great option. It's the same combo, but GC side light really hits well. And here's that one more thing. If you're like a diamond player, maybe a high platinum player, maybe a really good gold player, you want a killer combo. Take a look at this thing. Let's say your opponent wastes a dodge. Let's say they don't have a dodge. This is a tough input. You go GC side light, Nair, and then a jump Sarah. I, I messed it up there, but you see that? That, when hitting it frame perfect, unjumpable. I'm bad. Let me do it again. There we go. That was a little bit delayed, though. The five frames. Yeah, that is unjumpable at early health. It's probably jumpable at later health. But, like, the Nair sending that low. Just a really good three-piece combo to build up damage if your opponents don't have a dodge. And you can GC it just like that, too. Um, just to get that extra range. And you'll see Radish do this combo a lot. I, I went fish for the combo. It's also a tough input. Uh, I'm personally not that familiar with the combo. Sometimes I'll do it when I play orb. Um, but yeah, just if they don't have a dodge, that is a great way to build up some nice damage. And the reason why the GC side light is like good is then your opponent, sometimes they don't touch the ground. You can catch them in the air and then they won't have their dodge back for longer. So just a really good option. Other than that though, like orb, very very simple weapon you got the d light nares you got the side light stairs d light stairs and whatnot then you got that ladder combo i talked about where the side light d light's true but the other stuff isn't and honestly this is all you need this is the orb combo it's a lot of rinse repeating in neutral you have some great options to win neutral with and then you hit the combos and you kind of go from there you want to spike boom you get a ground pound uh that's all you need to know with orb and that's all i'm going to be covering in this video if you want to learn more about brahala in general how to improve movement guides and whatnot subscribe to neutralix and i'll see you guys all in the next video take care peace